it's it's barbaric. I mean, in recent history, particularly in places like Oklahoma, we've had executions where people have literally been tortured to death, and it's taken 45 minutes, and it's been bloody and gory and absolutely horrible. How many rich people are in prison? Seriously, seriously. On death, on death row, life sentences. We're all minorities. We're all people who are either minorities or didn't have any, any money. But as he says, I'm a cop, he reaches for his hip. I can't see what he's reaching for, but just my personal life experience tells me he's going for a weapon. So I fired one shot. I mean, it's, it's almost impossible to um, escape um, focusing on um, the dates, you know, because there is so little time left. But I try not to dwell on it. It's scary, but, you yeah. know. I think for the people who are on death row, it's its own special kind of torture because they know that they can and probably will be executed at some point. And I've had clients who come within hours of being executed is a particular kind of torture that is different from having to spend the rest of your life in prison. PM today, uh, we received notice from the U.S. Supreme Court uh, that Anthony Haynes received a stay of execution. The appeal that was filed at the last minute uh, related to ineffective counsel. Are housing people in these very restrictive conditions, it costs a tremendous amount of money to go through multiple appeals. It is just a dream on the system, and very few people, particularly in California, This is a, a miserable existence, not being um, able to uh, be with your family, your loved ones, and realize your potential as a, as a human being. Unfortunately, equality is an illusion.